but it's our one year anniversary at Tone Deaf Radio. Much love to Tone Fresh, everybody that's a part of TDR. Appreciate y'all for bringing us on, letting us be a part of the team. And so next week, we're going to do a big celebration. So y'all get ready for that. We gonna go in, yeah, yeah, yeah. but anyway, yeah, sis, yeah, I got a queen in here. What's the deal, queen? What 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 is sexy to you? Let's just start it there. What's sexy? Mm-hmm. A man that smells good. It's something about good cologne. Um, oh. I also know teeth. Teeth was a big thing for me. I used to like nice teeth. Uh-huh. I would hate for somebody to try to, so when it, back in the day when somebody used to try to talk to me, I would hate for somebody to talk to me to have messed up teeth. Because <laughs> that's the one of the things <laughs> that I know so, is going to be like. So if a because who doesn't look teeth? at the smile? Yeah, like who doesn't look at the smile? What What if he misses teeth in the back, like on the side? You know, like, I mean that's that's <laughs> fine. I mean, <laughs> just don't laugh and over your mouth all the way. No, but uh, yeah. Oh, and hands. Oh, I hate. I hate. I hate people that bite their um. They fingernails. Their nails all the way down to where their meat is like rolling over the top of their nail. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? Enough. what? Yeah, you ain't never seen no fingers like that. No. Don't do that. Hurt. Yeah, they like, I don't know. You got ass now. What the heck? <laughs> it look, it look nasty. They bite it down all the way and it be like, some of the meat be hanging over the top of it, man. That don't sound right. I don't like how you describe it, man. <laughs> I w- I'm going to find a picture. <laughs> oh, no. See, I don't even want to I'm going to find a picture. <laughs> I, 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 I think I got to find a timeline that got fingers like that. Oh, Lord. And you ain't unfriended them? Wait. Is it a dude or a female? Oh, I got a male friend on Facebook that got figures like that with the school with him, and I got a couple of female friends that got figures like that. Oh, tragic. That's the how It's the worst. And then skinny, um, mm. skinny man is unattractive. Sorry, what? Y'all. What? Yeah. <laughs> So, wait, what is skinny? What is skinny? Yeah, what is skinny? Well, okay, skinny, first of all, skinny is like, um, like Lil Wayne skinny. <laughs> she said that's Lil that. Wayne <laughs> And then I don't like nobody that's real muscular with like the big necks. The tree trunk neck. Yeah, that's that's not cute. So, Queen has counseled out the <laughs> skinny men and the muscular men. <laughs> wow, tragedy. <laughs> okay, that's. Wow. Wow. Is there anything else? No, I'm done. I'm done. What you mean you done? Yeah, you ain't done. I'm you done. Nice. I don't I don't want to sound like a bad person. <laughs> what? It, that's your hey. Your preference. What's wrong with having a preference? I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. As much okay, as, so uh, what is what is your definition? What is your definition? As much as I heard this, you know what? I'm I'm a conversationalist. 
So if you can't have a real good conversation, that's not working. So you're telling me that as long as long as they but, have a good conversation, they can be the ugliest the woman. <laughs> Hey, I didn't do some charity. <laughs> I've done some charity, man. For real. Like, so y'all heard that that as long as you got good conversation, you could be a <laughs> mutt in the face. His name is DJ Gator. Oh Lord. <laughs> That's bad, I ain't even say this. Now you know first thing first when you meet somebody you gotta be attracted to that person. Or else you won't be trying to holler at them. Oh hey, see this is the problem with me. I've I've met what I consider beautiful women that have the most horrible conversation, and it just turns me completely off. Completely. Like, nah, I can't do it. Queen, you got us on well, Did I say that? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Oh, so it ain't you. I, mm. I just hear myself echoing a lot. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think what else. Like, I, don't, I ain't so much into, like, you got to be skinny or you got to be a big girl. Because I've... I've dated all, all both sides both in between. I'll um, tell you what, I've dated a skinny man before and he irked my nerves. Like completely. Uh, why? But he would do he would do just about anything. Hold on. He'd do about anything. Yeah, he would do anything. Like, anything I wanted, he would do. It's just that he would just bone. <laughs> and it just it just wouldn't work out. What I look like a big girl with a skinny man. Why? Because, huh. It just, it just felt like bone. You ever had a, you ever laid on the floor? And it's high, hard, and cold. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> or you ever walked across? You know how some people driveways is paved with rocks, and you walk across it with your bare feet. It's just uh -huh. like that's just how I feel. I just don't know. I can't do it. That's, that's just that me. is real strange. <laughs> I've heard women say that though. I don't like no skinny man because they be sticking me. What? I've heard, man. I've heard a lot of big women. They look at me like I'm crazy because a lot of big women say they can't be with a big man. Yeah, I heard that too. But I don't know where they get that from because I mm -hmm. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. I feel more self-conscious with a skinny man because you really know that your belly is there. With a big man, y'all not going to know who belly is who, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that sounds very strange just now. <laughs> like they become one or something? What you saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skinny dude, you'll feel self conscious like you're like, oh god, my belly's just big. I don't know. That's just me. I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see wait, I think I heard another voice. Who else we got? I did here? too. 
I heard a woman's voice. I know I ain't tripping. Hey, it's Twink. Oh, hey. Wait, who? It's Twink. What did she say, Twinkle? Twink? Oh, Twink. Oh, Twink. What up, Twink? What up, Twink? <laughs> oh, Uh-oh. he's fired. Oh, y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all are not ready for Twink. <laughs> <laughs> I see, told you I was calling in. I gave you enough see, time to give a disclaimer because I told you I was calling in. <laughs> I'm that one friend that you yeah. guys want all your other friends about. Yeah. yeah. She just gave her own disclaimer. So, uh, <laughs> since, since Queen trying to be modest and everything. Oh, well, I'm just being honest. <laughs> Just being honest. What is is sexy to you, Twink? Well, Just let it all out. We uncensored, so go ahead. Oh, you know, I don't know how to be uncensored. (laughs) It all depends. Like, so, at this point Hmm. in my life, there's not too many things that I haven't done. So... I think I can go ahead and say that I know what I find attractive and what I don't find attractive. Mm-hmm. And with me, it happens outside of the bedroom first, like from the way you look at me from across the room. Like, you know, if you give me like that that little grin and you bite your lips and I know what's about to happen. Ooh. You might not know Twink, what's about to happen. You ain't no speaker for all these. No, I'm not. I'm trying to make sure. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You said you don't know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. No, he might not know, but I know that whether people in the room or not, somebody fucking. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> like, and this is from personal experience. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all about the current guy that I currently deal with. Like, he can mm-hmm. glance at me from across the room. And he got this thing he does where, like, he'll bite his bottom lip. And it's not like a full bite. It's like just the corner of his mouth. <laughs> and I don't know why that shit drives me absolutely crazy. Hey, guys, but don't be getting no ideas. Don't be sitting in the corner biting your lips and stuff. Be <laughs> <laughs> looking retarded as shit, just biting your lips. Nigga, is you hungry? <laughs> Somebody get that man a sandwich. Okay, <laughs> funny. Hey, I never mind. Go, go ahead, Twink. <laughs> I like a man that I like a hardworking man. Like I want for when you to touch me. If you got baby soft hands and it feel like you ain't never known a hard day work in your life, get the hell away from me. I mm, want that's right. Oh, your yeah, occupation while you were massaging my back. Uh huh. Like when you touch me, if all I feel is a baby's bottom, we can't be together. I better feel some <laughs> type of. I've been working on the railroad. Like I want me somebody that can bench press three fifty on a bad night. <laughs> she said on a bad <laughs> night. So that kind of rules out. I saw a post earlier today of, quote, unquote, this dude's hands, and they was well manicured. They look real, they were soft, like you talking about. And majority of the people on the post thought it was a woman's hands, and they were trying to be funny. <laughs> I sent I sent that to Buddy and was like I'm so glad your hands he's a he I can't even really I doubt anybody listening that not no one listens to y'all but anybody that knows him would be listening but he's a mechanic so he yeah he's dirty and I don't know what it is about when he get home from work and he smell like he done been under a car all day something about diesel fuel and that oil that fuel just be like. Yeah. Come here, so baby. diesel yeah. fuel. Yeah. Are we saying diesel fuel is a? a... 
I don't know, think it's the flow that's doing it. I think just <laughs> the, seeing him come, you would know a mechanic when they come in and they, they be having like that black stuff on their hand or the shirt be real dirty. <laughs> yeah. You know a mechanic when they walk in. Yeah, you know a mechanic. You can just take 17 showers and still look like a goddamn mechanic. You a mechanic, mechanic, exactly. <laughs> what Not the hell? Mechanic, mechanic walk in. You can take more showers then. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what? you can tell a mechanic, like, you come in smelling like a transmission, get naked. Then take so you just, it. Go, you just go jump his bones while he's dirty. Fresh off of work. Yeah, basically. What? I ain't never heard a woman say that before. <laughs> Just close down the door. Pull the you door down. Close the door. I'm alright with the audience. What? Like, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I actually enjoy people watching me. Right, I feel like I told it makes him work harder. Because now you got other people to impress. You're not just impressing me because, you know, I can go back and tell my homegirls anything. But if these bitches is watching you fuck up, <laughs> Dude, that's you best bring your A game, baby. That's a bull. Mm, it's a pity. It's a turn on to be watched, too. <laughs> it is. It's a. Oh, mm. Like, I used to wow. go and ho- I used to do swinger parties and, like, I swear, I don't think I've ever climaxed harder than when I I literally would have the room watching me. I mean, mm-hmm. because, well, I'm not going to, I can't even when you, be very frank about when this. You, I am shaped very nice. Go ahead, I'm sorry. But when you say the room, how many people we talking about? Because the swingers party. Like twelve to fifteen to twenty people are watching what's going on. Like I, this is I've had this happen to me before. I've actually had a guy look at me and was like, "I don't care what you do, but be for the night, I'm getting you." Because you, Gator, you know how I'm shaped. I'm shaped very shapely, very nice. So imagine me oh. with less clothes on than what I have on on Facebook. I'd want to hear I'm just people. saying. Uh, okay. <laughs> you got wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't know we was going this way, but I warned y'all if you came through the door. <laughs> you ain't ready. Okay. Okay, we talk about sex appeal. And, and you know, we pretty much open about everything. Is there is there anything Queen and already said? The little skinny man will just should be turned off by. Him. Why? And, uh, what she say? She said if they figure nails, they I don't. I don't like bones. I don't like, I don't want to feel your bones. Oh, I, I can understand. I just can't. I just can't. It's a difference understand. between skinny and then you being somewhat thick. I just can't do a real, real skinny man. So and you don't want me. bony. I'll say because like the, the yeah, skinny I don't want that no bony. Yeah. yeah, I don't want no bony. I can't do, I can't, I've never been able to do a bony man. But them be the ones that be like real. They they be stay walking the room and be starving like just mm, breakfast and lunch time all the time. <laughs> yeah, but man, so can a big man too though. Oh, yeah. well, you got a point. You have a point. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. And I, I will say because I've had both that a skinny man is like throwing a hot dog in the hallway because it's as long and skinny and pointed. Skinny and great. Did you say throw in the hallway, though? I'm done. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. She said. I'm done. (laughs) I'm done. 
Wow. Throwing a hot dog in the hallway. I ain't okay. never heard that before. Hmm. What exactly? You know, because it's, 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 they just didn't. Ain't no real whiff to them. But Somebody got us on a speaker call trying to figure out yes. who it is. <laughs> I muted myself and it was still echoing, so it ain't me. Yeah, we just echoing for no reason. My speakerphone don't, don't work. Not me. But I only hear my cell phone. I only hear me echoing. I don't know what so that then that must be you. So that must be your phone. Well, mute yourself you know and what? see how that works. You know what? <laughs> Press mute. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Queen. Take over. Go ahead. No. Take over. No, take over. I ain't had to play too much. Wow. I will say that I like role playing too. Like, I like to be very adventurous. Like, I don't mind, like, if we go to, like, a bar or something in separate cars mm-hmm. and get across the room and watch guys buy me drinks and hit on me and whatnot, and then you come over and sweep me off my feet. Don't even use, like, your best pickup line. Like, use some corny shit that niggas going to look at you like, she not going to fall for that. Mm-hmm. And then let me leave with you. Like, I don't know what's about to happen. Go get, like, some shoes in the somewhere. <laughs> leave money on the dresser. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I like see? to play the whole thing out. You gonna the take who? this good time. <laughs> she said she liked to play the whole thing out. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Since I got y'all in here, Queen was talking earlier about fingernails. Does that bother y'all? Finger in the where? Fingernails, oh, like I was said. telling him how I hate a, I hate a man that bites his nail all the way down, and you know, be having that oh, little bit of meat hanging at the top. Oh, oh my god, that is the yes. that is so nasty. Like if you, that's, <laughs> I cannot stand that kind of hand. Chicken. That is so bad. Like they they, they, just they bite them down off. to where it get the bleeding. Yeah, just cut the finger off. Oh. <laughs> so, so fellas, stop biting your fingernails. Like the first thing I do when I meet a guy is I shake his hand. If you one don't yeah. have a firm handshake and your hands look like anything other than acceptable, that is where the date will end. I'm still gonna let you yeah, get hungry. Okay, oh, what is and that for? wrist is a little bit too wiggly. Uh uh-uh. uh. Why? You gotta have a firm handshake. <laughs> that wrist is a little bit too hangy. I ain't going with you. And I'm I sorry. I shouldn't squeeze because you a girl. No, baby. I shouldn't be squeezing harder than you. Right. Wow. Um, that wrist gotta be tight. I'm a man who has long fingernails. Like, don't let your nails be longer than mine. Or have all that nails down, but that pinky nail is long. Oh, I don't like that. Like, do you do coke? <laughs> what is wrong with you? A little bucket, a little Exactly. Said, do you do coke? Because wow. they got to scoop it. <laughs> right. Oh, I, I can't. I can't. Jesus. Jesus. I need to call in right now, 347 989 I know y'all listening to us. I need y'all to call in because uh, they just going in right now. <laughs> like, I can't find a man who has, like, one gold tooth, but it's on the corner. Oh, my God, right in the front. Like right in. Ooh, I don't like that either. But it's, okay. like, on that one but, tooth okay. in the corner that looks like this. I don't understand why it's there. Yes. Yes. That, that it's, it's called that egg tooth, baby, that egg tooth. That egg tooth. Uh, but uh, why is it? Like, why all your teeth the color you go to, though? <laughs> mm. uh, wow. Oh, Crazy. my Lord. I cannot. I got a weird thing about sniffing underarms. So I hate them, man. That's what? musty. But yeah, I like the smell of, sometimes I like the smell of male, you know, that different type that of deodorant, that gel deodorant. Cool. 
Yeah, I just sometimes the smell of it just be like, oh my god. I like the smell. Know. Like if you have like a really nice cologne, I will stick my face in the side of your neck and stay there. Yes, yes. You, you have to smell good because yeah, that's like if I'm cuddling with you or I'm giving you a hug, I'm sniffing your neck because I'm. Yeah. Mm. Because, like, for some reason, there's some guys that don't think they need to wash that. Like, your neck should not be seven times darker than the rest of you. And thanks. Right. I don't want to kiss your neck and it be salty. Right. Ooh. Unless you've been sweating. Like, I, I will say unless you, unless, like, unless unless you've been like, sweating. Then yeah, if you, like, you, you, know you just got out of the shower. And it tastes like I, yesterday? Mm-mm. Are we licking necks? <laughs> Is this what you saying? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I will mm. Mm. You better definitely like off the butcher table meat. Oh, <laughs> really? what y'all just said? Hold on, I missed that whole that whole comment. Uh, wait, I'm stuck because she said we were talking about oh, something about that. that. Uh huh. No, they talking about licking men's necks. Because, you know, they get right there, they smell good in the, in the side of the neck. And then they like lick your neck. Like I, mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. That's fine, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, Baba Don't Masa. Let them have, like, that nice beard. Whew. Yeah. Your beard smell good. Jesus. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yes. yes. Hey, beard game roll. Nice. We do yeah. have beard game rules, so you know you gotta have your beard kept up. I'm learning that. Yeah, it's a uh, don't take no picture of your beard ain't shaped up right. Or <laughs> you got lint in it. How you get lint and whatnot in your beard? Like you and you left the bag hey, and you look in the it's mirror. It's hard sometimes. No, if you, you got old no, you be, cheese you in like your chest. You be eating this stuff and, you know, little crumbs fall in your chest. You got your old beard, pizza you know? cheese hanging. <laughs> but if you're right, you had pizza three nights ago and it showed sure is. Three nights ago. <laughs> she said three nights ago. Wow. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. Uh. How about when your man walk out the back, out the shower? And he still got that little bit of water coming down his chest. And he got like that nice smooth baby hair on his chest. And the water just. Hmm. See, if a woman <laughs> turn around at that moment, since <laughs> we going to talk about this. What you say? It's on and it's ain't popping. no other ladies in here but me. I mean, fellas in here but me. But, uh, Wait, hold on. <laughs> Well, Mike, it. I'm trying to see what flow is because you know we used to have these conversations <laughs> <laughs> talking about you know different things women do because it ain't nothing like a woman being in your ear and whispering. That's sexy to me, like yeah. Ooh, and then bite the bottom of your pillow, <sighs> and you know, twink, calm like, down. I'm just. I'm sorry. I cannot. She's just telling the truth. She's telling the truth. She's just telling it. I mean, hey, you know, let you. I be saying, I say some dumb shit in your ear, lick the bottom of your earlobe. So now you know you should be turned on or turned off. Okay, so. (laughs) Okay, so I got my producer in here. Apparently. He got something to say about this. I ain't got nothing so, uh, to say. Uh, Tom, what you what you got to say, Tom? I don't have anything to say. Say it just sounds like you being bombarded with all this feminine. <laughs> like you not, you not used to what you not used feminine. to what they saying, bro. Dog. Like you know, you know, it's been. I'm gonna be honest with you for real, for real. Like, I talk about conversation because I like being on the phone late nights and having real conversations that lead somewhere else. No, I'm just I'm just real like that. That's that's me. Uh, I don't mean, nobody had time to do that. No, what is a conversation? 
What's wrong with that? Bro, ain't nobody got time to, to do that. Bugs are trying on. to get people what trying is, to get sleep. I really think people right, trying to get sleep. <laughs> after after ten PM If we if you're not on your way to my house to handle business, don't call me. Thank you. Thank you. What we got to talk about? Talk during the daytime. What you about to do? Go to bed. What the fuck you mean? What am I about to do? I gotta wake up in the morning. I got kids. Right. So you, you should have work. What's your broke ass about to do? Ten p.m. See, see the thing about it. Yeah. Think about yeah. this, Jacob. Think about this, Jacob. Is as a man, some of that old school, slow conversation, getting to know a woman better stuff is only good for so long. After a while, you got to get to the point. Well, I ain't saying all the time. I'm just saying. But ain't nobody got time to talk at 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Not everybody. Some people do. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah. What's, what's wrong with that? Some people got to some people gotta go to work in the morning, so they ain't gonna be up all night talking. Now, don't get me wrong. Let, well, let me, yeah, that's true. Let me back this up. But if the conversation is good, okay, if y'all talking about something and what that person is saying is sparking your interest, time don't matter because you forget. You you enter this conversation. I've had this many many times mm-hmm. where I've just had mm-hmm. great conversation with somebody and we never made it to eve any other part of the date. We literally are still in the same place for about two to three hours and we just talking because the conversation is good. But after a while, you got to stop talking. You it's got to be some actions. Well, see that's what I'm talking about. I ain't saying we gonna talk. For months and months and months. I, I'm, I, what I'm saying is, like, good conversation. That's that's what's wrong now. People don't talk enough, mm-hmm. man. And good conversation and let you know where we going, what's going on for real, how you really feel about this person. Like, I ain't gonna lie. If a woman have that's a sexy a voice and she on the phone with me. And we having a conversation, you gonna get all kind of compliments on your voice, like, damn. You sound good. Wait, say that again. Doritos. Wow, I like how you said that. <laughs> you just, at that point, you, nigga, you just horny. You hungry and like, horny. Nigga, is you hungry? No, I'm just playing. It's time to go to bed when you find Lido <laughs> No, but I'm just saying. Okay, tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. <laughs> you ain't never had a conversation with a guy, ladies, that had, okay, let's just say they had some kind of accent that was like from overseas or something, and you just tripped off his accent. Like every time you talked to him, you was tripping. Like he could say the dumbest shit, and you'd be like, oh, say that again. Tell me yet, that ain't happening to y'all. I got a whole bunch okay. from accent. Now y'all got I quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm it wasn't even over from accent. Y'all missed that part. Y'all missed that part. I heard her. I, heard her. <laughs> I did. I heard her. <laughs> I heard her. <laughs> Tripping. I told. That's what. It's it's that actually don't have nothing to do. I ain't gonna lie, because he was like, hey, you gonna come back here tonight? And I was like, uh uh-huh. uh. Who? <laughs> My first boy. You first? Oh, wow. Wait, how long was this conversation? <laughs> About 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. <laughs> 